Hey. I'm back with my second camera. So I'm gonna be following a Bob Ross painting tutorial on this already used painting that I've painted myself and I failed, so I hated it. So I ended up covering it with white paint. So we're gonna be covering it up with a Bob Ross painting tutorial. I need white. Okay, got some titanium white. I love this color. This color gives the best coverage. This is going on great. Um, okay, hopefully that did something. That looks great. You know, that could look better, but you know, it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna try and make this look as good as it can possibly look because I'm all about the aesthetic. Okay, so I'm supposed to blend that all the way up and then I'm supposed to add some Prussian, which is just like a little bit of dark blue in the corners, which is fun. I didn't draw my brush at all. And that misty area turns out to be your very best friend. Texture. Some little trees, like if you're trying to a little closer, but you're seeing a little more detail, a little more distinct. Okay, that does not look right. I have to find a color that's like black and like green and like blue. center out. The center of the tree should be the thickest, the darkest, strongest part of the tree. Now, if you paint it in the border, I think everybody should have a friend, even a tree. Oh. You don't deserve Bob Ross. It's so sad. It's so happy. Straight down. Um, I think it's coming together. I'm not sure it is this bad skin. Just put right on this two inch brush. Give it a little push. Good shot. I need yellow. Interesting. This 
painting's really good. Mine's not that bad. Uh, painting. Say, me at the beginning, I was just like. <laughs> I think we learned something here today. Bob Ross keeps squirrels in his shirt pocket so they can watch him paint. Two. Bob Ross. Pretty good. Three. I painted something. Oh, my back is sweaty. So, this is my YouTube video for. Yes. Now I gotta edit hours of content. Okay.